In this video we're going to interchange fractions with decimals and um, simplify these ex some expressions using the order of operations PEMDAS. Okay? So here's example 1, example 2, example 3, example 4, example 5 and 6, and example 7 and 8. Okay? So we'll start with example 1 and we've got a quarter times 1.3 plus 3.5. So we have to simplify that. So we've got to think um, PEMDAS, right? The order of operations we need to remember when we're simplifying things. So really quickly let's just write that out again. P E M D A S. This is the order of operations. The first thing we do is parentheses. The second thing we do is exponents. Then we multiply or divide from left to right, don't we? Then we add or subtract from left to right. Okay. So we'll just keep this little cheat sheet beside us <coughs> so we can remind ourselves of the order of operations as we go along. Now, um, what should we do first on this guy? We've got parentheses, don't we? Around the 1.3 plus the 3.5. So PEMDAS says, the order of operation says, we do everything inside the parentheses first. Okay? So we add those guys together. And you can just do that on the side of the page somewhere. So 1.3, 3.5, add those guys together. When you add decimals, you need the point decimal points underneath each other. 3 and 5 is 8, decimal point goes down here, 1 and 4 is 4. So we add the tenths and then we add the units, we get 4 units and 8 tenths, or 0.8, right? Now, so this is 4.8 and we have 1 quarter multiplied by that. Now, at this point you may be tempted to change the quarter into a <coughs> decimal and multiply. And you can do that. You would have to go 4 into 1. You would have to turn that into a decimal. You would have to multiply. It would take quite a while. There, For a lot of these examples, it might be easier to, to work with it in fraction form. And I'll show you the, a quick way. So, so what I'm saying is, yes, you could do that. Okay, You would end up with 0 0.25. You would then have to go one quarter times 4.8 would then become 0 0.25 times 4.8. You would have to do the long division or the long multiplication and you could do that and you will get the right answer. There's a quicker way. Can you see a quicker way? If you multiplied by fractions what would happen? 4.8 as a fraction can be written 4.8 over over 1, right? Can you cross cancel common factors now? I guess if you want you could write it out again. 1 quarter times, you know, 4.8 over 1, if you want to make it clear. You've got 4 on the bottom and 4.8 up here. What's this? 4 into 4 goes once. 4 into 4 goes once. 4 into 8 goes twice. And the decimal point must go here. So we've got 1.2. So this gives me you see, 1 times 1.2, 1.2 over 1 times 1, which is 1. So, of course, it just gives you 1.2. 1 1.2 over 1 is just 1.2. So, that's a quicker way. If you can see that a fraction can cross cancel easily with a number, by all means do it because, hey, it'll be a quicker way. Like I said, you could have converted the quarter into 0 0.25 and multiplied, it would just take a little bit longer. Okay? So try example two uh, and see there is a quick way and see if you can find that quick way in example two. Once again, you can convert two thirds into a, a decimal. It would be a never ending decimal though. And then multiply, you know, get the answer pretty close. But can you see some way of maybe multiplying fractions? Uh, Bert, by the way, first of all, um, We've got to think. We've got to make sure we we get the order of operations right. 
Do we subtract to begin with? Or do we multiply to begin with? We have parentheses, but there's nothing to calculate inside of the parentheses. That's already done, so to speak. So we have a multiplication and a subtraction. Which comes first? Multiply, right? So we have to multiply first. Okay. And you see, I can write that as 2 over 3 multiplied by, and this can be written 0 0.15 over 1, right? Just like any other, any number, 0 0.15 over 1. Now, does 3 go into 15? Sure does. 3 into 3 goes once. 3 into 15 goes 3 times, or, or no, goes 5 times, isn't it? But where do you write the 5? You write the 5 here, above this guy here. And where does the decimal point go? Well, it goes here. And you've got to put a 0 here now. See that? Point zero 0.05? 0 0.05. So it's basically, if you have 15 cents and you're dividing it by 3, you'll get 5 cents, won't you? Right? So it's now we have 2 times that over 1. So um, we can calculate that. Let me just uh, get some paper here. So, you know, this is 2 times 0 0.05 all over 1 times 1, or 1. What is 2 times 0 0.05? 2 times 5 cents? Well, it's just 10 cents, isn't it? 0 0.10 over 1, which is, of course, 0 0.10, or just 0 0.1, right? Okay, so that's a, a if you use the fraction, uh, multiply by fractions once again, you can you can work it out to be 0 0.1. So this multiplication became 0 0.1, and so now we do the subtraction part, 4.3 minus 0 0.1, right? Sorry, I guess I'll leave that there. Um, so 4.3 minus 0 0.1, what's that? Well, let's just calculate that. 4.3, 0 0.1, 3 minus 1 is 2, 4 minus 0 is 4, I get 4.2. Okay. Now, let's have a look at example 3 and 4. Example 3, 3.99 divided by a half. What am I going to do with that? Well, you might remember that it's basically this number divided by this number, okay? So we can rewrite that as 3.99 divided by 1 half, can't we? Now, what can you get? Can you take the next step on that? What's the next step? That's the same thing as multiplying by what? Flip it upside down. 2 over 1. So it's the same thing as 3.99 multiplied by 2 over 1. Now what's 2 over 1 anyway? Now maybe I should put parentheses for multiply, right? 2 over 1 is 2. So 3.99 times 2. Okay, we can do that, can't we? Multiply. 2 times 9 is 18. Carry the 1. 2 times 9 is 18 and 1 is 19, carry the 1. 2 times 3 is 6, 6 and 1 is 7. What do I do with my decimal point? I have one, two decimal places in the problem, so I'm going to have 1, 2 in the answer. So multiplying decimals, I get 7.98. Right? Let's have a look at example 4. 2 over 7 times 0 0.4 plus 5 over 7 times 0 0.4. You know, if you want to, you, if you really wanted to, you could turn two sevens into a decimal. You'd have to go 7 into 2.000. That would take quite a while. Then you could multiply this decimal by 0 0.4. And then you could calculate this as a decimal and keep going. But an easier way might be to turn the 0 0.4 into a fraction. So, by the way, please write out this uh, question and, and, and do it, please. 
So you would have 2 over 7 times 0 0.4 over 1. Does anything cross cancel? No. But hey, that's not a big problem because I'll just multiply the tops. I'll multiply the tops. 2 times 0 0.4 gives me what? 2 fours is 8, 2 zeros is 0. One decimal place in the question, one of the answers, so that's going to be 0 0.8, isn't it? So if I just multiply it across, I get 0 0.8 over 7. Now please press pause and do this one. Please do this one yourself. 5 over 7 times 0 0.4. What do you get there? Please do this one yourself, just like you did the first one. Okay, what, what are you going to turn 0 0.4 into a, to a fraction? 0 0.4 is 0 0.4 over? One. Now multiply the fractions. Just multiply the tops, multiply the bottoms, right? So we got to go <coughs> 0 0.4 times 5. 5 fours is 20. 0 carry the 2. 5 zeros is 0 and 2 is 20. And it's one decimal place, so 2.0. So I basically get 2, or you can even write 2.0, whatever, over 7 times 1 is 7, right? Now, what does that make? 0 0.8 plus 2.0 all over um, 7. Well, let's see. 0 0.8 plus 2.0 gives me what? 8 tenths and 2 units, right? So, if I have the bottoms the same, can't I add the tops together, right? 0 0.8 plus 2 is 2.8 over 7. So I've got 2.8 over 7. Hmm. Can't I divide that and get the answer? So what do I do? What into what? Go further. You can go further with this, can't you? 7 into 2.8. Okay. So what do you get? 7 into 28 goes so many times? 7 into 28. 7 into 28 goes 4 times, and you must write the 4 above the 8. The decimal point goes here, and you must put a 0 here as well. So the answer is 0 0.4, isn't it? Let's have a look at example 5. 3 eighths plus 0 0.35 times 3 quarters. Now, <coughs> I guess I wonder what does it help to multiply um, the fractions across this time? I suppose it might. What, what difference would it make, right? I guess if we, we keep doing the same thing, it might help um, so we don't get too confused. Um, so 0 0.35, 0 0.35 over 1, right? If I multiply across, I'll get um, three, 0 0.35 times 3. Three fives is 15, carry the 1. Three threes is 9. 9 and 1 is 10. And I have two decimal places in the question, so two in the answer, 1.05. Oh, by the way, of course, thinking about PEMDAS, we have to, we can't add to begin with, can we? We have to multiply first and then add, right? So in any case, 0 0.35 times 3 becomes um, 1.05, and on the bottom I have 1 times 4, which is 4, okay? And then, of course, I have uh, 3 eighths. So I have 3 over 8 plus 1.05 over 4. Okay? And I guess we will just have to... The answers have to be in decimals in the end. So we guess we'll just have to turn each one into a decimal, right? So um, 3 over 8, we've got to go 8 into 3. Right, and then on this one you've got to go 4 into 1.05. So 
So please press pause and do both of these divisions and see if they get the same thing as me. Okay, I'm going to do them pretty quickly now. So please press pause and try them and then see if you get the same thing. Okay, three, two, one, I'm going to do them now. So three should be written 3.000. 8 into 30 goes 3 times. 3 times 8 is 24. Subtract and I get 6. Bring a 0 down. 8 into 60 goes, um, um, let's see, 5, uh, uh, 7 times, right? 7 eighths is 56. Subtract and I get 4. Bring a 0 down. 8 into 40 goes 5 times. 5 times now 5 times 8 is 40, subtract and I get 0. Okay, So the decimal point goes up here. So this becomes 0 0.375 plus this guy. 4 into 10 goes twice. 2 times 4 is 8, subtract and we get 2, bring the 5 down. 4 into 25 goes 6 times. 6 fours is 24, subtract and we get one and we need to add on another zero onto this guy don't we you can keep putting as many zeros as you like I'll put a bunch on, how about that bring down one of those zeros, four into ten goes twice two fours is eight subtract that we get, oh sorry, we get two right? Um, bring down a zero four into twenty goes five times five fours is twenty, subtract and we get remainder zero at last right? So this guy became point two six two five. Okay. So what I have is zero point three seven five plus zero point two six two five. Okay. So if I add those guys together, I'll get my answer. So zero point two six two five. And if I add decimals, I must put the decimal points underneath each other because I'm adding tenths with tenths, hundreds with hundreds and thousands with thousands okay and I can stick an extra zero onto this guy for a ten thousandth uh, placeholder so five and zero is five two and five is seven six and seven is thirteen carry the one and that gives six and then we have this so zero point six three seven five is the answer here okay um, another way to do this question you might have thought of is, well, why don't I just convert the three quarters to um, 0 0.75, which three quarters is 75 cents, right? So you got 0 0.35 times that. You could multiply these out if you want to, and eventually you will end up with getting um, 0 0.2625. So that would probably be an easier way. So to calculate this is just multiply these out. 0 0.2625. You could have done it that way as well, right? Okay, let's have a look at example six. We've got one quarter all squared times 7.2 plus one half to the power of three cubed times 4.8. So we've got to consult with our order of operations again to see what we do first here. Do we have anything in parentheses that needs to be calculated inside the parentheses itself? No. Right? We, I mean, the quarter is, is fine, the 7.2 is fine. There's nothing in parentheses that needs to be calculated, so we're okay for that. Do we have any exponents? We sure do. One quarter squared and then one half cubed, right? So we've got to do exponents. So let's do that. One quarter squared. I guess I'll just do it on a side of the page or something. Um, one quarter squared is one quarter times itself. If the squared is touching the parenthesis, it means parenthesis times parenthesis. So it's one quarter multiplied by one quarter, which gives one times one is one, four times four is sixteen. So this becomes one sixteenth. Then we have times 7.2, then we have uh, plus, and we must also do the half to the power of 3, okay? Okay, that's another exponent, so we have to do all our exponents. So 1 half to the power of 3 is 
the thing times itself three times. If it's power of three, touching a parenthesis, it's parenthesis times itself three times. So it's one half times one half times one half. And remember, always write your fractions, don't write your fractions like this. Because if you're doing that, it's kind of hard to multiply them, isn't it? If you write them like this, it's easy to see that you multiply the tops, then you multiply the bottoms. 1 times 1 times 1 is 1. 2 times 2 is 4. 4 times 2 is 8, right? So the 1 half cube simply became 1 eighth times. Um, <coughs> um, sorry, uh, 4.8. Okay. Now, um, once again, at this point, we could turn the sixteenth into a decimal and turn the eighth into a decimal and calculate everything. But you might see a little bit simpler to simply turn the seven point two. See, I think four might go into both of these at least, right? If you turn the seven point two into a fraction, seven point two over one and cross cancel common factors it might work out nicely you see by the way the next thing we do with with PEMDAS so we've done exponents with PEMDAS now we have to multiply right and then we add so multiply and then add right so we're on to multiply okay so um, but look 4 will probably go into this won't it 4 into 16 goes 4 times 4 into 7 goes once remainder 3 4 into 32 goes eight times and the decimal point goes up here so that's 1.8 over 4 does that simplify it even further I think so 2 into 4 goes twice um, 2 into 18 goes 9 times 0 0.9 over 2 or 0 0.9 over 2 right? and then we have to figure out the other guy well you can write 4.8 as a, as a fraction 4.8 over 1 and then cross cancel common factors does 8 go into 48? 8 and 8 goes once, 8 into 48 goes 6 times and the decimal point can go right here, see that? so this guy becomes 1 times 0 0.6 0 0.6 over 1 times 1, 1 which is 0 0.6. So now we have the multiplications figured out to here and here. Of course, next thing we have to do is divide and then add, right? So 0 0.9 divided by 2 shouldn't be too bad to figure out, right? That's just 2 into 0 0.9. You might need some zeros. 2 into 9 goes four times remainder of one what's two into ten? five and the decimal point goes where? right here so point four five or zero point four five so that's zero point four five plus zero point six so I've got to add these guys together 0.45, 0 0.6. Make sure you put the units over the units, the tenths over the tenths, and the hundreds over the hundreds when you're adding. Okay, and you can put a zero placeholder for for this if you like. 0 0.6 is just like 0 0.60, right? Five and zero is five. Four and six is ten. Carry the one, and this is one. And the decimal point goes here, right? So we get 1.05. Okay, last example, 7 and 8. Um, the trick with these, by the way, is if you can see what type of fraction 0 0.75 is right away, that might work out. So just from our experience, I hope we just, we might just remember, how many quarters is 75 cents? 
I mean, if you want, you can go 0 0.75 is 75 over 100, and then put it in lowest terms. 25 into 75 goes 3 times, 25 into that goes 4 times, so we get 3 quarters. And if you did that, then the whole thing becomes a little bit simpler, because look, you have 3 quarters squared minus... Um, one quarter squared times five, and so you're just dealing with the same types of fractions. But um, anyway, um, you might just remember that 75 cents is three quarters, so you can just write that in there right away. Okay, so if we go to figure this guy out, all right, we go to figure this guy out, we've got to think of PEMDAS. So the first thing we do is uh, parentheses and exponents. So we got to do our exponents next, right? So um, 3 quarters squared is, let's do that, is 3 quarters times itself, isn't it? What does that give you? 3 times 3 is 9, 4 times 4 is 16. So here we have 9 over 16, right? What's one quarter squared? Can you do that one? One quarter squared is. So we've got to do our exponents. We're doing our exponents because of the order of operations PEMDAS, right? One quarter squared is one quarter times one quarter, which is one times one is one. Four times four is sixteen, right? So 1 quarter squared becomes six, 1 over 16. And just fill in the rest of the problem now. So it's minus that times 5. Now, can you write the 5 as a fraction? 5 as a fraction is 5 over 1. Now if I multiply these fractions, I get 1 times 5 is 5, 16 times 1 is 16. Nothing cross cancels, right? So I have 9 over 16 minus 5 over 16. Or in other words, 9 sixteenths minus 5 sixteenths. How many sixteenths does that give? 4 sixteenths, right? And does that... Um, Simplify, can you put that in lowest terms? 4 into 4 goes once, 4 into 16 goes 4 times, so this becomes 1 over 4. So the answer is a quarter. And if you want to write your answer as a decimal, you've got to turn a quarter into a decimal, right? So you've got to go 4 into 1, and we know how to do that. You write the 1 as 1 1.000, and then you go ahead and, and divide it in. 4 into 10 goes 2 times, remainder 2. 4 into 20 goes 4 into 20, 5 times. And the decimal point goes up here, right? So it's 0 0.25. So 1 quarter is 0 0.25. Or you might just remember that. A quarter of a dollar is 25 cents. I mean, let's remember some of these, right? So the example eight, please try this yourself. And I'll just give you one tip. Try to first convert the 0 0.25 into a fraction. 0 0.25 is what fraction? Oh, we just got it, didn't we? It's a quarter, right? Okay. So now press pause and do the whole thing yourself and see what you get in the end. Then I'll do it. Okay, did you try it? I'm going to do it now. Hope you tried it. So one quarter, we've got to do the exponents first because of the order of operations PEMDAS. So we'll do a quarter squared is one quarter times a quarter. One times one is one, four times four is 16. So this becomes one over 16. And of course I have uh, 1 over 16 times 7. Now, 
I'm going to see that, look, I'm adding the same type of fractions here, really, am I? So what I'm going to do is turn the number 7 into 7 over 1. And then I'll have 1 over 16 plus 1 times 7 is 7 over 16 times 1 is 16. So it's 1 16th plus 7 sixteenths. How many sixteenths? 8 sixteenths. Can I put that in lowest terms? Yep. 8 and 8 goes once, 8 and 16 goes twice, so I have 1 half. Can I write that as a decimal now? Write that as a decimal. 2 into 1, or 2 into 1.00, right? 2 into 1 won't go, 0 times, decimal point goes up here. 2 into 10 evenly goes 5 times, 5 times 2 is 10, you know, you can subtract the remainder 0. So it's definitely 0 0.5, isn't it? So the answer is 0 0.5.